And I've also shown you that before it was Washington, D.C., it was Rome, Maryland. But for this video, I want to show you guys some of the other old world places that were all located here in this land, the Holy Land that we call America now. And obviously, maps can be uh, manipulated. Um, so I took all the maps used in this video directly from the Library of Congress's digital archive online. Now, right off the rip here, you'll see out in the Northwest Pyramid and then Pyramid Lake directly next to it. <laughs> That's how it goes. Now, if you weren't familiar, one of the great ancient cities of the world was the Phoenician city of Tyre, pictured above. Now, in this um, Bible is History book I have, we're told that Alexander the Great built a 650-yard causeway across from the mainland back over to Tyre. Now, look at this picture above compared with this map of Cuba in a artificial causeway built across the ocean. Look like they might be the same place to me. Now this was taken from a map only showing the Western Hemisphere in North and South America. Now if you'll notice here, ancient Carthage is pictured over here in the Western Hemisphere. Right here on the northern coast of South America. And the image fits perfect over current Cartagena. Now I don't know what you were taught in school, but I was always told that Carthage was in the center of North Africa, directly south of Rome, Italy. Now when you think of the story of Carthage marching with a army with elephants from South America to Washington DC instead of North Africa to Italy, it's a much more impressive story and believable. And check out when I overlaid the map of Hannibal's attack on Rome with Washington DC here. And there are so many of these on the Library of Congress. Now let's look at one of my absolute favorite maps of ancient North America from the year 1600. Library of Congress Digital Archive. We have Sinai Mexicanos labeled where the Gulf of Mexico is today. Now if you don't know the story, Mount Sinai and the Sinai Peninsula is where the Israelite slaves fled from Egypt into the wilderness with Moses. And this is the place where Moses actually received the Ten Commandments. Now moving on west here, you'll notice Casa. This is extremely similar to the book of Colossians where Paul was writing a letter to the church of the Colossians. Said to be over in modern day Turkey, but pictured here down by Alabama. Now looking just east of Casa, we see AIX, I. In the ancient Old Testament account, AI was famous for being conquered by Joshua during his conquest of Canaan. Now it's about to get good. Looking further westward, you'll notice Cana there, reminiscent of ancient Canaan, said to be over in modern day Lebanon area, Israel. Then below that, South, you'll see Galat. Now, if you weren't familiar, Paul in the New Testament wrote one of the books to the Galatians, which was said to be over in Greece, but clearly pictured here in Southeast United States, or Southwest United States, or Northern Mexico. Now, looking either further west, you'll notice Cush here. Cush, said to be in Africa, was where the descendants of Ham settled after the flood when they got off the ark with Noah. Just west of that, you'll notice Mare Vermeo there separating California as an island from the mainland. Mare Vermeo translates to the Red Sea. The Red Sea was the body of water parted by Moses during the escape from Egypt by the Israelites. Now these maps are really strange because it's incorporating the old world and the new world, but here you'll see Cibola which according to ancient Native American myth, where there were seven golden cities of Cibola with 
unmeasurable wealth in quantities of gold. Now notice here in the Salt Lake City area, we have Septon City, or the City of God, or Seven. Queen of Sheba, anyone? America as a whole used to be called Septentrionalis, or the Country of Seven, also meaning the Country of North, or the Country of God. See here. Now starting here at the northern portion of this map and moving south, we'll see a number of native villages and fortresses that have been destroyed by the French. Here at the bottom, it says Saint Rheem. Now, if you've seen my other posts, you'll know that this was a charter from the Egyptians to the French to control the land and chattel or people in that area of the Mississippi River or the ancient Nile River here in Misery. Let's look at another map here. Notice Mare Vermeo there separating California and also Dionysus, St. Paul, St. Matthew, St. Mark, many biblical names listed. I wanted to point out the Nasonis listed. This biblical story of Samson tells us that he was a Nazarite mapped here in North America. Then looking north, you'll see a Kanza, La Canese. Check out how they spelled Kansas here and all around. Around the modern Kansas. Once again, we have been taught that Can Canaan was over in the Middle East. And here's more places seemingly named after Canaan. Now let's look back over to the Salt Lake City area here. Now if you'll see here, it was called Taos or Geronimo which stood for Hieronymus, which meant sacred city and sometimes called Saint Juan or Saint John. Now, Jerome also mapped means the same thing, sacred city. Now this makes the story of the Yale skull and bones chapter holding the skull of Geronimo or Saint John, probably John the Baptist, much more disturbing and makes me a little bit angry. Now moving south you'll see Coachelli which were Aztec or Egyptians all the way up here in North America. Hmm. Then you'll notice Hubilees. Now if you weren't familiar Jubilees it was a big deal for the Hebrews. Slaves were freed and all debts were broken. All land was given back. So strange that it's mapped over here by Salt Lake City. Now here we're told about the Essenes which was an old world Jewish sect said to be in the Middle East. Now if you'll notice here, St. Paul or Minneapolis was called Aceniapolis and pictured again many locations up in the Minnesota area labeled Essene. Now I'm going to run through these last ones because of time. As you'll see in this map here, Korah, again on this map, Le Korah. David wrote many psalms to the ancient city of Korah which is shown here somewhere north of the delta of the Mississippi. Now on these maps here you'll see Tamerloa, Tamerluans, and Tamar was a daughter of Judah and was said to have been given a portion of ancient Israel. Then back over towards Salt Lake we have Pilate, Thebes, Pharaoh, Manasses, Sumer, more Sumer, then you'll notice in these maps, the Tigris mapped here, which was said to be in the Middle East and was one of the four rivers running out of the Garden of Eden, as you can read more about here above. And lastly, notice here in what was then West Florida, Abraham. Sounds a lot like Abraham. Some people will say, oh, it's just maps. Uh, maps can be...